There was a recent study that businesses waste an estimated 26% on ineffective marketing strategies and tools. And one particular area of waste that I wanna call out in this week's video is digital marketing tools and subscriptions. I mean, most of the top tools out there cost hundreds and thousands of dollars every single month. But what if I told you for my online marketing coaching business, I spend less than $500 per year. I've tried almost every single tool out there and I found some small but mighty tools that do what most of those expensive tools do, but for a fraction of the cost. And if you're lucky, sometimes these tools can actually have lifetime deals where you pay one small fee and you get access to it forever. And so in this week's video, I wanna give you a demo of a tool that can really help you in your digital marketing efforts. This tool will give you an actionable game plan so that you can get better results and drive more free organic traffic to your website. If you wanna get better results in your marketing and save some money in the process, let's dive in. So as I said, digital marketing tools are insanely expensive. So right now I have SEMrush pulled up. This is one of the more popular tools out there. And I'll admit SEMrush is a really powerful tool, but most businesses are paying $249 and up just to have access to this on a monthly basis. And then you can look at some of the more premium tools. So Bright Edge is one of those powerful SEO tools out there, and they don't even list their pricing because it's so high. But when you ask AI mode, it says that people have said that it can be 55,000 or even $72,000 per year. That's a lot of money. And let me give you one more to add to the mix, and this is a competitor to SEMrush, this is Ahrefs. Again, that $249 price point and up for most businesses. And so this week, I wanna share with you a tool that I spotted called Site Guru. And at the time of this recording, there's actually a lifetime deal to it, and I'll put a link in the description below to that. And full disclosure, if you click the link and purchase, it is an affiliate link, which means I might get a small commission from that sale. But even if the lifetime deal where you pay once isn't around, you can get access to Site Guru for as little as $39 per month. So a fraction of the cost of some of the tools that I was mentioning before. So let's go into Site Guru and I'll show you what type of information and what type of actionable information you can actually get to help you drive better results. And what Site Guru does when you initially put in your website is it does a full crawl of the pages of your website. And as you can see here, you have the ability to link your Google Search Console, your Google Analytics, you can add focus keywords or even add branded keywords to bring more visibility throughout the platform. So SiteGuru provides web analytics and a site health score based on their criteria. But as you scroll down, you can actually get a snapshot of the top keywords that SiteGuru has found as it's crawled the Google search results pages. And so in this section right here where it says top keywords, I can select see all keywords. And SiteGuru is giving me a report that within this date range, I've had 177 keywords increase in Google, 224 keywords decrease. I have 27 keywords in the top three, 116 in the top 10, and I've got a little over 1,000 outside of the top 10. Now you can go keyword by keyword and you can filter this so that I could see all the keywords that I'm ranking in position one or in the top few. You can see the clicks that are being associated with that keyword, the impressions, and again, that is coming from Google Search Console. But you can even go one step further. So what if you want page information based on one of these keywords? So this keyword right here, who are Google partners? Here's the page on my website that it's ranking for. I can click into that and I can get a breakdown of a lot of other things for that specific page. And so I can select SEO audit and it's saying that this page is past nine, of their tests and there's three suggestions. It tells me whether or not this page is indexed by Google, meaning is it even eligible to come up in the results? And as I go down the page right now, it's saying that some of my opportunities for improvement include page speed. So it says this page speed score is 64 out of 100. One of the images on the page does not have image alt text, so that's an easy fix. And this page does not have any structured data. Well, shame on me because I actually have a video on one of the easiest ways to add structured data to pages, so I need to follow what I'm preaching there. But you can see how easy and how actionable these results are. And as I continue to scroll down, it's going through some more technical SEO aspects, so it's talking about a canonical URL where I do have that set up correctly. It's telling me whether or not my meta description for the page looks good. And again, the meta description is typically the snippet of text that appears below, not always, but will typically appear below your title tag in the Google search results. 
but let's say there was an opportunity to improve this meta description. Uh, Site Guru actually has a button where you can say, suggest something else, and so I can click that. And using AI, it will actually create a new meta description for me that if it was good to go, I could simply copy this and paste it into my website platform for this page. Scrolling down, it's telling me whether or not I have a good page title. And again, if it wasn't good, I, su I could suggest something else. This is a big one right here, and I wanna focus on this for a second, broken links. On this page, are there any broken links pointing to other pages on my website? Now that can be incredibly frustrating for users as they're looking at your web pages, and they click a link and it goes to a 404 not found page, so it's so nice to have a little section right here where that work is done for you, and for this page, I don't have any broken links, so that's great. And then as we continue to go down, it's telling me how the headings on my page are, and again, I could suggest something else. Do I have any internal redirects? So am I pointing to a link that then redirects? It would tell me that right here, so I could just input the final destination URL as that link instead of having it go through a couple of redirect chains. And then at the very bottom here, it gives me just an overall Google indexation status. So as we said before, this page is submitted and it's indexed in Google and it tells me the last time that Google crawled this page. So at the date of this recording, this is just a few days ago when Google has crawled this page. Let me highlight some other things inside of Site Guru. So underneath this overview site tree section, you can actually get a really cool visualization of how your website is laid out. And so if you're in e-commerce and you have a bunch of subfolders on your website or different sections of your website, you can see how it's broken down. For me, I really only have one subsection on my website and that's the blog. So you can see I have my home page, I have my standard pages across my website, and then underneath my blog, I have dozens and dozens of articles and tools that fall in that section. All right, so next, let's go to this focus keyword sections. And so I accepted a few recommendations from Site Guru for what my focus keyword should be. And when you do either approve the keywords that they provided or add your own, you get this dashboard right here. And so let's say, for example, I wanna look at this keyword, what is a good CPC? I can get the estimated number of searches that Site Guru has for it, my average position, and then I can actually click into this keyword to get even more information. And so this is really cool because so I can actually see how I've been ranking for this keyword in the past 30 days, in the past five days. And so with this, you can actually start to tell if one of the changes that you've made to your website or your web page have positively or negatively impacted some of your focus keywords. And as you scroll down the page here, you can get some actionable steps. And so for me, these are completed actions that I have or site guru saying, hey, if you want to improve your ranking for this term, what is a good CPC? Here are some next actions that you can take and here's some things that you've already done or completed actions. There's no way that they can be 100% certain where if you follow their recommended actions, you're guaranteed top three rankings in Google. That's not how it works. But if you follow best practices, you're typically setting yourself up for success. And so for example, while meta description is not necessarily an SEO ranking factor, it can help improve your click-through rate to your page. And in my opinion, as you improve your click-through rate, that's a positive signal to Google that they should consider ranking that page higher. And so when I look at the current meta description, it says learn the quick and easy way to find out your ideal cost per click CPC for your e-commerce business. And the suggested meta description is discover what is a good CPC, so it was actually inputting that keyword into the meta description and how it impacts your advertising strategy. Learn tips to optimize your campaigns for better performance and ROI. So if this was a keyword that I really cared about, Site Guru just provided the recommendation, and I would say this is a better meta description than what I have, to insert that keyword directly into the meta description. And if I can get that keyword or key phrase bolded in the meta description, maybe that will lead to a higher click-through rate and that can assist in my rankings over time. And so you can see how with Site Guru, it's so easy, whether you're focusing at the page level or at the keyword level, what your next step should be to set yourself up for success. And now let's go into the insights dashboard. So I'm gonna scroll down and this is gonna give me a keyword positions over time section. And so if there was a huge Google update that just happened and you see green, which is positions one through three and yellow is positions four through 10, if that all of a sudden shrunk in Site Guru, 
that could give you the information that you need to know that you were negatively impacted by a recent Google update. And so whatever Google announced, whatever area of focus they had, you might want to lean more into that in an effort to turn those results around. And then as you continue to scroll down, you've got this top performing pages section, top keywords along with positions and clicks, and also content that needs attention. So I could spend so much time in each of these sections, but for this video, I just wanted to give you a high level view of what you can actually do in Site Guru. Further down the page, keywords at risk, keywords on the rise, competing pages. This is an interesting section. You might have pages on your website that are targeting the same keyword phrase, and if that's the case, you might be ranking lower for both of those pages than if you just went all in and tried to rank one of those pages by themselves. And so for me, with this example, I'm not too concerned about it because it is my branded keyword. So my homepage is ranking for it and my about page is ranking for it. But I think down here, low hanging fruit, I think this is one of my favorite things inside of Site Guru. It will find some of those keywords that are ranking maybe towards the bottom of the first page of Google, or if Google is showing infinite results, keywords that are ranking as you scroll just a little bit down the screen. And I always say it's a lot easier to get a keyword from position 10 to Google to position five than to have a keyword that is completely unranked and get that in the top 10 for Google. So Site Guru is providing recommendations for low hanging fruit, keywords that maybe with just a little bit of effort, you could get them to rank higher, get them in the top five, top three, and actually see a meaningful number of clicks as a result. Next up, I'm clicking in this content section and Site Guru is providing some best practices on, hey, you've got duplicate page titles, you'll probably wanna take care of that, especially if they're important pages to you. You have some pages where you have short title tags and then it even provides a good page title. So in my case, I've got 73 good, six short and five duplicate. Same thing with the meta description tag. It will talk about pages where you have missing meta descriptions, duplicate meta descriptions, long meta descriptions, short meta descriptions, or pages that it is marking as good. You don't have to use third party tools and do these calculations for is my meta description under a certain character limit or above, it does it for you. It also has a similar report for headings, word count, image alt text, OG tags, and similar content. So let me go in, I'll click the similar content tab. And thankfully for my website, it says no similar content has been found. And so as I talked about before, if two pages are too similar, or if two title tags are identical, or if the same keyword is attempting to be ranked on multiple pages, that can actually lower your ability to rank for that keyword. And so you're going to want to have some differences within those content pieces if they're two pages that you want to rank. Otherwise, you might just want to consolidate them into a single page. All right, let's spend a little bit of time at this technical tab here. So with my website, Site Guru is saying that I have 85 pages that are indexable to Google, so they're eligible to appear in the Google search results, and then I have three with indexing issues. And so I can click this indexing issues tab right here, and it will actually pull back the pages that it spotted. And so in my situation, these are pages that I intentionally blocked from Google. So I've got my PPC cost cutting cheat sheet, the seven day online marketing jumpstart doc that I mentioned before, these are pages that I don't really want to appear in Google search results. And so I just went ahead and blocked them. And so that's why Site Guru is spotting indexing issues. But on the positive side, I have 85 pages that I do want to appear in Google and all of these are indexable and eligible to be found by Google. Underneath the technical tab, if you select sitemap, you can see what you're currently submitting to Google and if there's any issues with that. And then there's a couple more technical things that deal with canonical URLs and page speed and structured data that I won't click into. And then the last section that I'll highlight here is this links section. And so if there are any broken links that SiteGuru spotted on your website, they will indicate them here. And so you can go in and fix them. Site Guru will tell you if you have any orphan pages. So orphan pages are pages on your website where you do not have any internal links pointing to them. And this can be a problem, especially if it's a page that you want to do well. The easiest way to say it is links can sometimes be votes of confidence to a page. And so if on your website you have a page that you're submitting to Google and there are no internal links from other pages on your website pointing to it, you're not providing any votes of confidence 
or really any way for Google to actually find that page other than the sitemap. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do with this report is look at the pages that are in the orphaned links report. And if there are no internal links, you're going to want to add internal links to those pages when it makes sense. And if you still wanna get more out of SiteGuru, there is actually a report builder section where you can create reports for the things that you really care about. And so this way you're able to see exactly what you want and you don't have to do any hunting inside of SiteGuru to see that information. SiteGuru provides a lot of information, especially if you're paying a one-time fee, which at the time of this recording, that is the case. You can get lifetime access to it for a single low fee. But even if you're watching this after the fact, I'll provide another link to SiteGuru where you can sign up for their low monthly plan. And so as for me, the number of digital marketing tools that I've signed up for and created an account with, SiteGuru is one of them. And I'll probably provide some videos on some of the other tools that I have like SpyFu, Screaming Frog, and give some more information on those. Well, case in point, you don't have to spend tens of thousands of dollars to get good information to make wise decisions on how to optimize your website. As I just showed you, you can get a ton of information from some of these small but mighty tools and save hundreds if not thousands of dollars every single month. Hey friends, I hope that video was helpful for you. Until next time.